So hello everybody, it is Wednesday, so it's time to talk about data literacy. We're going through a series of misleading charts, and the one that we're going to talk about is the one that you see. It is a tweet that Ivan Duque, which is the Colombian president, made on August 22nd, 2020. Okay, so we are going to go through it and see if and how this thing is misleading. Let's get started. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so this is what it says. This shows um, mass murders. And he shows in a chart the data from 2010 to 2018. And then it shows from 2018 to 2020. So we have here eight years of data. And here we have two years of data. And when he is trying to imply without saying because he doesn't say anywhere in the text that it has decreased it's not lying he's not lying at all he's just showing the data in a way that favors the cause basically by the way this is not a political channel so let's put aside political opinions and you know personal opinions about this guy it's not about that it's about data and how you can actually mislead with it so it talks about between 2010 and 2018, which is what it shows in here. He, the country had 189 cases of mass murders, while in during his term, it is just 34. I mean, if you go into Twitter, you pass by, you see the chart, you see the downward trends. You don't care too much. You say, ah. Oh, it is decreasing. Well, the thing is, as you pointed out very well, is that, again, you cannot compare eight years of data with two years of data. It is just going to mislead in any way. So I was actually a bit curious when I saw this, and I, I was thinking, like, okay, so what is the average, right? So how bad is the thing? So if you go here, and obviously I know that it's not comparable because the previous also wrong, but still, if I want 199 divided by the eight years, we have a 23, 24 cases. While in here we have a 34 divided by two years, which is 17. So, in, you know, in average is less, but then again, this is eight years. So then it starts to think that, hmm, why would you? Right, so I started to think like, oh my gosh, I'm betting that this goes something like that, that is going up again. So it was high, and then it's high again. So you know, we're actually discussing this on on Discord. So I'm going to post a link down below in case you want to join. We have a channel that we discuss the charts, and actually, um, I ask Ari, is like, do you have the data? And he says, yes, I do. And I'm going to show you. This is fascinating, actually. After Ivan tweeted that, I'm, I'm not sure who, t who tweeted this, but it is data from the Defense, Ministry of Defense. And they actually did what it should have been done from the beginning. So it's comparing two years with two years. And not only that, it's also comparing on the exact same period of time. You should do that. And then you can start to see, like, something is happening, right? So it went from 29 to 41. He actually already found more data. Let me show you. So this is basically how the data looks like. It looks actually worse than I anticipated. So if you can see that it goes from 38 to 34. So it is actually more steep than I thought. And basically what he's been trying to uncover is the upwards the increase of cases. Um, let me put this side by side so you can actually see it's So this is how the data looks in real. You can see that it was an increase, it decreased and it increased again. This is Ivan's term. And this is the way it was presented. You can see a clear descent. So in fact, it is increasing the the chart that it was shown it shows decreasing and this should be a constant reminder for us how easily we can actually mislead people with data you may think that 
Okay, I can you actually mislead? Because you can see that the periods are so wrong. Yeah, but you're on Twitter, you know, on Twitter you consume information very, very quickly, which means that most people do not know to begin with how to read prop how to properly read charts, which basically means that they will probably won't pay attention to this. They will just see the downward trends and they will continue reading on Twitter because maybe they're not very politically interested or whatever it is. These would have the opposite effect. If you, they would have actually shown this, it would probably have led to more conversations on Twitter. So it is. this should be a reminder for us that we have, to, again, to be very, very careful how we represent data because it is actually very easy to mislead and it could be done intentionally or unintentionally. This is not a political channel again. I'm not here to discuss what his intentions were or how can, what kind of person he is. It's not interesting for us. We're just looking at the data and ways that it can actually mislead. So fascinating, really. So I'm not ready to drop this. I think it is very, very interesting. So we're going to do one more. I'm, I hope that you are up for it. Are you ready? So this is the chart that we're going to talk next. I'm not sure which newspaper it is. It doesn't say, but it's quite interesting. And I really want to hear your opinion because I think I have a different opinion that you might have. This is like here, the time leaves the rest behind. And then it shows a global trend of visitors. So this is the visitors from 2004 to 2006. And then it compares price from the Times to the Daily, Daily Telegraph from the Guardian or from and from Financial Times. And it basically is trying to prove how well the Times is doing. Now, question for you. Is this misleading and in that case, in which way? So I apologize that the quality of the image is not very good, but I'm sure that you will be able to see the contents anyhow. So looking for your comments. I will see you again on Friday with another Dax Friday. This is the 200th edition. If you ask me to do something special, I'm not sure <laughs> what, but hopefully I will figure it out by then. I'll see you on Friday. Take care. Bye bye.